Although Isidore is far from the Bay Area, we are in the most active part of hurricane season, and now is the time to prepare in case a storm comes our way. Joining us now to talk more about being ready for a hurricane is Captain Bill Wade with Tampa Fire Rescue. Thanks for joining us. Captain Wade, for the past few seasons, we've been pretty lucky here in the Bay Area. We haven't had a direct hit from a storm, but a lot of folks are getting complacent. Is that smart? It's a bad idea to get complacent, especially at this time. Uh, we're getting the early warning. There's a storm that could be coming our way, and there's some plans that you should be putting into effect right now. What should folks have in their hurricane kits? We talk a lot about having a hurricane kit ready. What should be in that? Well, first off, know your risk. Know if you're in an area that should evacuate. And also, uh, at that point, you should have an idea of where you should be getting off to uh, should you be asked to evacuate. But in your hurricane kit itself, make sure that you have uh, if you have important prescription medications, make sure you have those items at least three weeks worth. Uh, make sure you're uh, taking along uh, important papers and documents with you when you evacuate. Make sure those papers are ready to go. Also, uh, make sure if you're going to be staying at your house, if you're not in an evacuation zone, make sure you have water and non-perishable food and a way to open that non-perishable food, such as an all-electric can opener. When uh, storms start heading our way and Bay News 9 meteorologists are kind of updating folks every nine minutes here on Bay News 9, you see a mad rush to the supermarket to get water and all of those non-perishable food items. When is the best time to get your kit and your family prepared? Well, what we have at my house is it's a five-gallon container that we're just going to go ahead and put tap water in. That way there we don't have to go to the store and look for the smaller one-gallon containers of water. And that would work just fine. So have some type of cooler you could put uh, the water in. Also, uh, think about ice products and make sure that you have plenty of ice on hand in some type of chest or cooler to keep whatever that needs to stay cool, cool, should the electricity go out for a day or even longer. And should we have to evacuate if you live in an evacuation zone? A lot of folks hate going to shelters it's not the most pleasant place. Just some very quick reminders to folks out there about hurricane shelters, some things you can and cannot bring. A, a shelter is a place of last resort. It's the last place you want to go in case of a storm. Uh, you cannot bring with you your animals and your pets. Uh, the, about the only things you should bring with you are some bedding materials and things to make yourself comfortable. There may not even be cots at a shelter. So you want to take things to make yourself comfortable. Once again, medications are very important, especially for our, our citizens out there who rely on taking those every day. And uh, maybe some things to keep yourself occupied or your children occupied, such as quiet games. Okay, thank you so much, Captain Wade, for getting us prepared for a hurricane season, and we should be prepared right now. Thank, thank you. you. Even Central Florida is doing its part in